Hey you, it's Jess here and we are planning once again for the week of 24th through the 30th of July and I'm using this Legally Fabulous kit from Caress Press um, which is based off Legally Blonde and it just it was so fun and pretty and perfect um, to end. So we watched Barbie, we had Barbie week last week and now we have another sort of Barbie type with Legally Blonde. I thought that would just be fun for um, summertime. I really loved the colors in this kit. And I just paired it with silver. I paired it with a Luxe bundle from SPC. Um, but then I added a bunch of Sparkle and Caress Press Glimmer designs, I think, um, to go with it just to have less <laughs> of the um, Luxe. Because I, I like the Luxe pattern, but I don't like it on everything in the spread. So I just, um, you know, dulled it down a bit with, dulled it down a bit with the other designs. So there's still a bit of sparkle, um, but not so much of the Lux stuff. I think that turned out really well. I also brought in SPC Blossom pattern for the bottom washi because it's like a Lux pattern, but it's slightly different and a bit more, I think a bit more feminine and girly and I liked the extra touch that it added to the spread. Um, but I'm just gonna do my usual color blocking and whatnot. And um, we'll obviously, we're fast forwarding through this beginning, but then we'll join me in real time to put down all the um, stuff. So yeah, this week was pretty good. We ended up seeing Oppenheimer on Wednesday, I think. Yes. So Oppenheimer Wednesday, really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I just, thought was, I just thought it was really good, but we'll get to that on Wednesday. <laughs> um, and then we also uh, drew my first Halloween set this week, Haunted Bookshop. So I think that's going to be it for the base. Just put my hands down so I know where to edit it. But yes, we're going to get into the week. Um, but I did need to show you the end of last week. I can't remember how much. I actually did in the plan with me. Did I film this? I filmed it on Sunday morning. Okay, so you would have seen this. Did some planning work, washed the bedding. We watched um, the new What We Do in the Shadows. It finally um, started coming up on our HBO Max here. So we were catching up on What We Do in the Shadows. Love that show, played some Sims. And then that night was a Salt Mountain Melts wax pre-order so I bought some of that. I just bought three so um, I didn't go over the top but I wanted a couple of different um, ones of the autumn scents because I've been really enjoying their summer scents. I found the Salt Mountain is a really good performer so bought some more wax but that was the end of the Barbie spread. It turned out so good. <laughs> But this is the Legally Fabulous spread. I just put my book that I read this week in the corner and I did finish it this week. Um, it's actually called Yumi and the Nightmare Painter by Brandon Sanderson. You'll see me talking about it when I put up a studio vlog. I think it's going up this Friday, so definitely keep an eye out. I'm gonna have a studio, an hour long studio vlog up this week um, about this week that we're planning now. So I'm gonna plan it, but then you'll see it in vlog time. But it is a studio vlog, so it's more me doing work, but I did show you my day out on Wednesday. So you can see a bit more of Helsinki and going to the movies. Um, my to-do list bookshop and then plan my next Halloween set, which is gonna be vampires. And I'm gonna keep with my dark and spooky and moody theme this year with vampires. So it's not gonna be like any which it's going to be dark and spooky like my haunted bookshop um so that's going to come out in august uh, but i need to plan that i'm going to plan that today and get every all the references in order so i know exactly what i'm drawing and i'm going to be starting that next week but let's get started into this week um so we've got monday of course we're going to start with Coffee Monday as per usual. And then we also have how to stick a whole go live. So we're gonna put that in. And then actually I had a pretty chill Monday to be honest. Um, I was like gearing up for the week ahead. 
Because sometimes like I'm just not in the mood on a Monday. I'm very much like Garfield that way, but <laughs> let me find my tweezers here. They're very deep. There we go. And my pen. I have not prepared um, planning right now. Anyway, so I thought this coffee cup from Paper Milk was the perfect color for this spread. I didn't actually have many um, doodle colors of the week that go with this spread, so uh, I may do with what I had. But I'm going to use Clever Girl Craft Tarts because it's silver foil and I had a good matching pink for my videos this week. Just had to stick a hole up where I mostly hold kits. And then YouTube binge, catching up on all the stuff. And then on Mondays, we always get the new episode of Righteous Gemstones. And oh my God, this episode was nuts. I feel like, uh, actually, I was thinking through the episode that it was very much like, um, it's making me think of Barry, you know what I mean? If you've watched Barry, then you probably understand what I'm talking about, but I felt like this episode of Righteous Gemstones felt very Barry to me. Just like the way the action played out and all of that. So I really enjoyed it. It was so good. Um, just a fun show overall. So let's put this in here. And then lock made. Um, oh no, we ordered spaghetti from this restaurant, Cafe Bar Number no. Nine. It's actually really hard to find good spaghetti in a restaurant here. Um, but this one actually was pretty good. Like, um, the sauce could have been better, but the texture of the pasta was good. Now, I don't have my scripts yet for The Sims because I ran out of them. So I'm actually, I'm too lazy to just, I don't want to like use up all my scripts for later. So I'm just going to write in The Sims this week. No problem. And I was also reading my book. I wasn't like straight up playing The Sims this week. I was kind of just, um doing some updates to my game because I am nine generations into one save file so I've been like getting new townies and changing up uh, community lots and whatnot actually I think I, okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna switch these two around I was gonna put payday and then sleep in I think I'm gonna put sleep in and then payday and then I played I didn't, but I wasn't playing it, you know what I mean? I was updating my Sims stuff. Also because it's just been a new um, expansion pack, so all the mods and stuff needed updating. And it's not quite back to normal yet, I don't know. I think I still have to mess around with my game because there's some parts of it that I'm not happy with, but um, which is why I haven't been playing it as much either. But anyway, we'll put payday in the second one because I put the patterns label here. And for sleep in, I'm using a little icon from SPC, the face mask. I had a little sleep in on this day and then it was payday and then I played with some of my sims. And then I just put in that we cooked dinner. What did we have? I can't remember now. But, you know, it's in here. Alright, and then the evening, I got started on bookshop proper. So I want to put this for work. And then I also have, I don't want to use up all of my fancy labels. So I'm going to put this down here, put work, and then I want to put in that um what how I want to put this I guess I can use it with this because I started a studio vlog but maybe actually then I'll put a different one of these in I'm trying to think of what to use when I'm using a Kuros breast kit ah that'll be fine I should probably should have mixed these up but whatever so we started the studio vlog this night and I started proper work on 
my haunted set. And while I did that, I read Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. All right, and then we get back into Wednesday. I didn't do any work on Wednesday just because, um, well, so we were out all day. So I woke up and um, 9, 30, 10, something like that. And uh, we actually left at 11 uh, to go see Oppenheimer because it started at 12.30, but we had to take the metro to the other side. Oh, I got confused because I'm using, um, the only movie marquee in this set is the light pink. Um, so I'm going to use it because I want to use the movie marquee. Wait, why am, I, why am I picking you up? I want uh, the purple of this, okay. The movie started at 12.30, we saw it at IMAX, and yeah, I just wanted to be out of like, um, we had to take the, it was, a, because the IMAX screen is like in a whole other neighborhood on the opposite side of Helsinki, it took a while to get there than our usual cinema. Um, and then obviously it's a three hour movie, and then the mall that this IMAX is in had KFC, which, um, if you don't know, Finland only got KFC for the first time ever, like last year, I think. I think it was last year, but they've only only put them in um, a few select malls, and it, literally none of them are in our area for delivery or even like just to quickly travel. They're all on like outer edge um, neighborhoods, so. Though they've, I love KFC and they've, they've finally been here for ages, we haven't had KFC at all. So, because it was at this mall, we're like, yes, let's get KFC. And um, yeah, it was really, really good. I think they franchised the KFC here from an Estonian company, but it was pretty much the same as Australian KFC, like straight up, except the only difference is that it doesn't have popcorn chicken. <laughs> That was the only thing, but it does have my favorite KFC item, which is the Twisters. So, it was great. The chicken, the chips, everything was the same as Australian KFC, so I was very, very happy. And of course, we had to get that there after the movie. And then I had to take the metro home, walk home from the metro. I had stopped into the chemist to get a prescription refilled. Um... And yeah, by the time we did that, it was like five o'clock. So we out, we'd been out from 11 to five. So I just didn't feel like working that night. Um, but we did watch what we do in the shadows. Um, and we also got the new Always Sunny. They, those episodes finally started coming up here as well. We always get these new shows later than they, so I always have to like avoid spoilers online, but. New Always Sunny came up and then I went to bed early because I was so tired. So short, first cave scene in three years. Um, while we're doing the shadows in bed early. But yeah, I really loved Oppenheimer. It's three hours long and it's almost all talking, but it just zooms along, just chugs along. The music is amazing. Um, I was super enwrapped in the whole story. Of course, you probably want to um, brush up a little bit on the history, especially with the McCarthy era um, and the Red Scare and whatnot, but it was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and then Thursday, and I did get back to work, but first I did some planning time, and of course my favorite pattern in the in the set is on Thursday and I only get one day of it, but I love the swirly patterns. So just some planning time, I just picked out um, some stickers for this and whatnot. Um, and then for lunch we had Yeasty Boy, which is bagels. And then I went and worked, I think this is the day I did all of the scenes, and the people I think. Um, I did scenes and people, but one of the scenes took four hours by themselves, so <laughs> if you've seen the set, it was the double box scene with the inside of the bookshop. That took four hours. <laughs> four hours work for that, but it turned out good in the end. 
Uh, look how fun that is. Anyway, <laughs> then um, during that, I was also reading my book. And that night for dinner, we had mac and cheese. I didn't have much to put on Thursday because I literally worked all day. <laughs> Um, and then I had to end up going to bed late because, again, I was trying to get all the scenes and people done on this day. And it just took literally all day long, so. But I got a lot of my book read, which I loved, by the way. Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, highly recommend. Fantasy, sci-fi, romance, so good. And about being artists. And he really got a lot of Brandon's opinion in there, and I loved it so much. Like, just the opinion that art is intent. And he just showed that, he really like argued that AI art is just not it. Not it, fam. Because <laughs> art is about intent. It is about who makes it, you know, and the reason why they make it. And not just pretty pictures, you know what I mean? Because even bad art is art, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Loved it, it was perfect to read while I was drawing. And then it was just a really beautiful romance, slow burn romance as well. He doesn't usually write romances, so that was nice. And um, I totally, I totally teared up at the end. I was like, first of all, Brandon, how dare you? How dare you? But yeah, the end made me cry a bit. Okay, Friday was another work all day day, but I had my August kit lineup go up. Um, I worked, as I said, worked. And then I also finished my book this day. I think I had four hours of the book left and um, that's how most of my drawing time was. I drilled the elements this day. So they took four hours until the end of my book, um, but then I had to edit the file, I had to make the um, papers and glitters and edit files and make listings, you know, all the other usuals. Finished Yumi and Painter, and then, um, oh, we got delivery donuts this day. I don't have, and I should probably ask Andrea if she should make these. Um, but I got Momochi, which is mochi donuts, which are the donuts that look like a ring of balls, like little mochi balls. But um, I don't think she has a doodle of those types of donuts. So I just used a normal donut here that I had in the color way. So, but I should probably ask her if she will do a custom of the mochi donut or if, um, Maybe Asia has one in her shop somewhere. That would be cool. Because mochi donuts are like in a world of their own, honestly. They're so good. Um, okay, now I'm a bit stuck for what I'm left here for. <laughs> Maybe I can cut this up. or make it slightly bit smaller. All right. So I'll put this in just to fit this last bit of stuff in, you know? So. Ah, it works, it's fine. So first we have Momochi. And then I did listings for a couple of hours. And then I was able to release Haunted and I'm using this little, um ghost sticker from Paper Shire because because I have this um, custom script of new release I like to put what a uh, sticker related to the new release on it so I remember when I flip through but this little ghost was perfect plus the orange goes with that so and I just played some sims that night um, and then I just gave myself the weekend because I finished my work you know so weekend time so first of all, alright, um, Saturday did some cleaning, did some laundry, and did some cleaning. Also got to be careful about what stickers I use here as well. 
cleaning time. And then we got bastard burgers. And watched some Daria. That's the first box. Um, I think I'm going to regret this because I got a lot to I don't have a lot to put into the second box, but we'll see. We will see. Just a typical lazy Saturday, so I'm just going to fill this in. All right. Then <laughs> the rest of I'm just going to put it into a bigger box because I have it and I need to make it space um, maybe at the end here hmm <laughs> I've used up all my boxes I'm just gonna put these two in whatever whatever it wasn't a lot but I went to bed early this night um, I fell asleep at like 10 o'clock so you know a lazy Saturday is not gonna have much on it but we did restart watching Supernatural. I think the last time we tried to rewatch it, we didn't get past season two. And there's 15 seasons, by the way, which we've watched all of them, but we've never rewatched it all the way through. So we're gonna see how much we can rewatch this time. But we started season one, Supernatural, and then I started my new book, which is the third book in the Expanse series, Abaddon's Gate. So let's put those in. Oh, super good. I really do and I really do enjoy the Expanse books, but I really enjoy the TV show as well, so um, it's nice to see it in book form too. <laughs> so first of all today, first thing we did today was we made well after coffee and chillin', we made um, pancakes for breakfast slash lunch. And now I am filming, and that's all I've got for today so far. I'm gonna obviously go and I'm gonna do some work, plan up my vampire set, possibly watch more Supernatural. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, I will show you next. Plan with me what happened on the Sunday, but um, let me let me finish it up. All right, so that's as far as we're getting. So let me tidy up my stuff here and I'll show you what it's like in the planner just gonna lay it all out let's really give it the um my planner I think actually the purple and the gold and you didn't notice uh if you didn't see last week print pression did come out with an SBC edit in a light purple I think it's lighter than this one, and this one's smooth, whereas that one's pebbled, I think. Because this is a sample that was never picked to be made. So if you've been looking for a light purple um, SBC edit from Print Pression, they may, they may still be in the shop. I don't know how much he had to sell, but I noticed that came out this week, so definitely go check that out if you're interested. But this is our f nearly completed Legally Fabulous spread. I think it looks so great. A, great, a great productive week. Had a lot of fun going out on Wednesday. Definitely keep an eye out for the vlog of this week coming up on Friday. But um, yeah, otherwise I hope you had a wonderful week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. I love you. Bye bye.